Hey everybody, on today's video, I'm gonna continue with some more organization in the shed. Uh, you know, it's a never ending process here, but I have uh, this cobalt uh, toolbox that I'm gonna put together and that will hopefully help. So we'll get to it. So first thing we gotta unbox it. Get those off of there. Getting it open. I do see the directions are here on top. It's always good to have those. Alright, and I'm not gonna save this box, so rather than try and pull it out of the box. It's easier just to cut the box down. I'll use a pocket knife here. Uh, the corners that are stapled together obviously are easier. Should be. Now we've got her unboxed and it's on its pallet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up on a on a platform that can move and then we'll put the wheels and stuff on. Okay, so I've got the uh, cabinet here sitting up on a little dolly. I'll show you like that. Uh, so that way I can move it around if I need to. And then the first thing you want to do is install your handle and it uses these. Now you can put the handle on either side of your cabinet. It's, it's got the spot, you know, so you can go whichever side. So determine uh, which side you want it to swivel on because you want your swivel wheels on the same side as your handle. And get the camera mounted here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so got the handle. And it'll go on like that. Make sure I'm not missing anything. It does come, <laughs> it does come with this uh, schnazzy little wrench, but uh, I'd rather use a socket myself. So get them started by hand here. And I'll start all four of them before I tighten anything down. Okay, and here's the last one. 
and all the holes do line up. That's always, always good when that happens. And then we just tighten the rest of the way here. It might be quicker to get it tightened up my finger tight here. There we go, got them snugged up, and you don't want to, you don't want to do Hercules on this uh, because you could uh, cause some damage. So now the handle's on, and now it'll be ready for the wheels. Okay, so this is the non-caster wheel. So this we'll want to put on the other side. And the caster wheels are like this, and they also have a locking mechanism on them. And uh, hopefully you can hear me. I turned the fan on because the gnats, oh, they're terrible. So what I like to do, you know, you get the bolts come in this bag or whatever. So I like to set them out like this so that that way for each wheel, then I can get my bolts ready to go. Because on the wheels, they have the bolt, uh, lock washer, and then a regular washer. And it takes four per wheel. There we go. And now in the directions, it does say to uh, lean it over on its side. But then it also mentions that, hey, you should have uh, more than one person to help you uh, if you're doing that. So that's, again, why I put it up on the dolly. That way I can move it around, I can get under it, and uh, get those attached. So I'll go ahead and attach the, the, the wheels, and then we'll be ready to move it. Okay, so I've got the wheels on now. Uh, Lucy's kind of blocking. Uh, where they are but wheels are on got her in the spot where i'm going to put it and so the next thing that we need to do these were in the top drawer are liners now there should be one that's a little longer i would think for the top Uh-huh. Okay, then just to put them in the drawer here. It is nice that it uh, that it actually comes with these. You can buy a drawer liner and actually usually have uh, have some on hand, 
uh, because it comes in handy for other things too. Okay, so that is basically it for putting this cabinet uh, together. But the main reason I I bought this is because it was, well, it might have been four years ago already. Uh, I had a top cabinet. Now it's the 26, so it'll only come to about here, and which is kind of nice because then you'll have a spot when you're you're putting tools away, and one of the cats is making noise in here. And you need to clean them off, but you're, you know, you're not ready to do it right then or whatever. Then you can sit them there and then you know you need to get those tools put back away. But anyway, so I have a top cabinet. Had a really good deal on it. And that was before I really knew the whole foam insert thing was the deal. And so it's got a foam place for all, so you know where everything goes. You know if you're missing one. But that was right about the time that the Sears uh, sold off Craftsman. And then everybody was selling Craftsman and you couldn't get these bottom blue uh, cabinets. So now I've got it and we'll have to, we'll have to get the, ca the top cabinet and put on there. Okay, so now here is the moment of truth, the fun part. I need to get that out of the back of the side-by-side. And onto there. Now I did take the tools out of inside of it, so it shouldn't be that bad, but it's gonna take a little bit of Wheaties to get this on there. There we go. All right, that looks pretty cool. And like I said, this one did come with the foam. So, you know, the tools, they came out. Now the bottom rack, I did take the, uh, the foam or the sockets out of the foam because it was the big sockets. And I was a little worried that it might crack it, but there we go. Now I, and it helps my OCD, all the same color, matches up, sweet. There we go, got the new toolbox in. As always, hey, thanks for watching. Oh, hold on, and I did remember something actually. So this is the pallet that, uh, that came on, or underneath the new one. And I'm thinking, I don't know, I might use it for a shelf, either above here or over there. Um, but anyway, I might have a new project. So, okay, squirrel moment there. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for subscribing.